kept her because I promised her mum that I wouldn't. Amy, would you like some breakfast? Yeah, please. Hello? Oh, Peter. Well, it is the launch day today. Okay. I'll pop by on my way in. Morning, sweetie. What's going on? Nothing. Mum. Chris is upstairs. You mean he spent the night? And his friends like me, you're gonna love him. You hardly know him. Look what happened last time. You don't have to spoil it, do you? What do you want to talk about that for? Cos it happened. Fine. You bring me down if you want to. Here, I've made you some toast, but don't you worry about doing anything for me in return. And make sure the staff stagger the children coming to see the site, otherwise they'll swamp the place. Oh, and check the press have remembered the launch today. Uh, I'm sorry, Margaret, I'm making you late. Peter, about Stephen's new discipline system. Isn't it great? Do you see how much work he did? Unbelievable. So, you're OK about us implementing it, then? Oh, absolutely, Margaret. Don't you worry about that. You just go ahead. Yes. Right, well. Better go. Bye, Margaret. Bye, Peter. Anika, is there anything wrong? You and your mum were a bit funny this morning. No, she was asking if you're okay, you know, with your mum being away. So there's no problem then? Of course not. Your chief! You ready? Oh, yeah. Woke up at six o'clock. I think I dreamed about it. <laughs> I didn't get any cards. You what? I couldn't get into my sister's room. She never came back. Oh, how could she do this to us? We've only got the ones from yesterday. Those girls are going to murder us. Uh, excuse me. Oh, what do you want, Shannon? Go and predict the future or something. We've got business to attend to. This is your last chance. Justine is going to bring bad things down on your heads. Fine. All right. So the trip was pretty weird. Sounded like it. Yeah, it turns out Nathan was seeing someone else, so Bronnie dumped him. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I did say. So. I know. I was telling you a great new way together. Guess I was wrong. Guess so. She hasn't been in, has she? I haven't seen her. Right. You. Can I help? Um, I've got her in this essay into Miss Carver, sir. Oh, I can take that for you. You better get off to class. All right, sir. Cheers, sir. Good morning. Hi. Mrs. King, one of our parents. Parent governor. Yes, one of our parent governors has very kindly come to witness the launch of our website. Cool. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me. My daughter's been trying to persuade me to go online for months. <laughs> now, we do need some volunteers to keep an eye on the students watching in the computer room. Oh, I'll go. Thank you. Perhaps, Jane, you could go along as backup. Yes, of course. Uh, Stephen Margaret phoned. She's been in to see Peter and she's running late, but I know she'd want to be here. I know, Jane, I know, but Mrs King's very busy. I wouldn't want to keep the children waiting. Of course, I'm sure she'll understand. And I'm lying. Oh, no. I can't wait to see what they've done with it. <laughs> I've got some imagination. We can see it on my laptop, if you like. I think I've got it working now. It's all written by the students. Yes, Miss King, every word. In my day, it was the school gazette. 
I used to set the crossword. Really? If I'd known earlier, Mrs. King, I would have asked you to contribute something. Oh, Mr. Tefro. Okay, it's ready. Um, okay, come in, girls, and find a place, please. Um, uh, look, uh, there's plenty of room if you. Uh, okay, that was my foot. Look, could you slow down a little, please? It's a lot more popular with girls than I thought it would be. Uh, um, girls, there's lots more to see. Got some or something. I've got it. Courage, purple. Purple. Right. Here goes then. Oh dear. Fantastic. Hmm. I don't think so. Jeff, this is a girl talking about her first sexual experience. <laughs> well, that explains the popularity. But, but no, look, it's something she didn't want. No means no. Oh, dear. Anika, my office. Oh, I didn't realise mobile phones were so popular at Green Hill. You'll turn off your mobile phones inside this school or they will be confiscated. I want everyone out of here, now! <laughs> I can only apologize. You have 10 seconds to get back to class. Put those phones away. Uh, sir, I think there's something you ought to know. Mrs. King, could I possibly meet you back at the office? Of course. I'll be there immediately. Yes. Um, the main entrance stairs, Darren and Calvin are there, and I think you might want to know what they're up to. What are we going to do about finding somewhere to hide? And we're going to get sold out in seconds. Or we put the price up, they won't be able to afford them. There he is! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hang on! Hang on! What's it's all right, we've got some cars. It's just uh, it's costing us a little bit more, that's all. Uh, we've had to put the price up to um, £1.20. Uh, yeah, £1.20. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, girls. Oh, I'll buy them. I don't care. Me too! I'm just going to have them now. After that article, the public closes down. Why don't they just take the article out? The rest of the site's the same. You lot are talking like it's something out of a dirty magazine. It's about people our age feeling like they have to go to bed together when they're not ready for it. It's important. I don't even know why it was on there. No one asked us. Nika, as usual, making decisions behind our back. It could happen to anyone. Most girls aren't stupid enough to let it happen, are they? Well, I hope it never happens to you, Cathy. I've got one green Libra, one purple Gemini, and two Capricorn, and yeah. both white. Oh, oh, okay. oh, 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 wait, so, uh, there'll be more soon. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, there might be. There won't be. Stop saying things like that. So, the black market's alive and well in my school, is it? I don't think so. What have you got there? Thanks, sir. Yes, very clever. And just how much were you charging? £1.20, sir. For what? The bag the stuff comes in? I'm not an idiot. How much were you selling the drugs for? Drugs? What is it? Hashish? Marijuana? Ecstasy? What on earth do you think you're doing? In a school! This way. They're destiny cards, sir, that's all. We've never even touched drugs. We sold lots of cards, though. That's where the money comes from. Nothing else. Let me see them, then. We sold them all, sir. You saw the girls. One of them nearly had one of my arms off. We had to get rid of them all, sir, for our own protection. So you don't have any proof? What a surprise. Uh, ask the girls, sir. Check their bags. You just have to be a bit careful. They're a bit funny about them. I'd rather check your bags. Empty them out and your coat pockets and wait in there. That girl didn't know how to say stop. And it's affected her whole life. It's just telling people to be careful. That's the sort of thing you wanted, isn't it? 
Well, in a sense, but... Mr Robson told us we'd have our say. Well, this is it. That's what I wanted when I went for editor. Something that really counts. I think your days of getting what you want are over, Anika. That was a message from Bill James. Another governor dismayed at the contents of the website. And I have something else waiting for us outside. One thing at a time, I think, Mr Deverell. They made me editor, Miss Soames. I thought you'd back me up. You know what a difference we can make. Editors are supposed to make responsible decisions. I wouldn't stand for it if I were acting head here. I can tell you that for a start. Go to your class, Anika. We need to discuss what happens next. Really? Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's all this about? Dunno. I think he thought it was someone else. Uh, there were two guys messing around in the canteen. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing here? Trying to make them see how important this no means no thing is. It is a bit over the top, isn't it? Would it make you think twice if you ended up in a room with a girl and didn't know what was going on? What she wanted or didn't want? I suppose so. Yeah. I rest my case. What are you boys doing here? I'm going to search them, then I'm contacting their families. No, don't grass us up. A guilty conscience, perhaps. If he tells my mum and my sister finds out, I'm dead. No wonder they went mad. Is it still on there? Come on, let's find it. Look at this article. It's about my bar mitzvah. Where's the no man's no thing? The bar mitzvah is my Jewish birthday. It happens when I'm 13. I'll become a man. Yeah, right. Big deal. So why do you suddenly have to tell everyone then? I told everyone. No one even knows it's written by me. Yeah, but I do. I used to be the only one that did. I'm trying to do some good, Shannon. Do you think she wrote it? It's on the website. Of course she did. There she is, mate. What do you want to do? She won't want to see me. How many times are you going to apologise, Tom? She shouldn't have written that about you. Look, catch you guys later. Doing some good. It's really working, isn't it? It's her daughter, Amy. Yeah, but can you please get her to call me? Can you tell her I'm on Anika's mobile? Anika. All right, thanks. That was Leah back there. Do you want to go and say hello? I've got stuff to do. So you like reading about yourself? Just shut up, will you, Shannon? Bet you wish you'd never done it now, don't you? Why should we make them remove the article? We gave them freedom of speech and this is what they chose to say. But you neglected to organise any staff supervision of a children's website. I devised a staff password scheme but I was told not to use it. There was a form of staff supervision. We agreed it wouldn't be overbearing. We all thought they deserved a little bit of independence. A little? Young children saying what they like on the World Wide Web? Oh, that's ridiculous. Margaret, the local paper have seen the website. They want to know if the girl is underage and if the police are involved. How do you want to handle it? You'll have to give me a moment. You're going to have to issue a press release, Margaret. I'll write something that will throw everyone off. What do you mean, throw everyone off? I mean, we'll make them think that we've always been in control of the situation. I think that's the only way to go, Margaret. Very nice, Stephen. Smart move. Riley, you're right. Hmm? Yeah, went to the dentist. I'm fine. Why? No reason. We were just wondering where you were, so. Vicky, you two been talking about Nathan and me? Sorry. Hey, it's all right. I'm fine about it. I guess you're right about me and Nathan after all. Right. I'm starving. See you later. <sighs> I 
what's up with you? He got his essay in. Oh, very academic. I'd like to think I can do both, you see. Concentrate on the club scene like a certain ex-pupil will remain nameless, but somehow still maintain a firm grasp of literature and the finer things. Who are you and what have you done with Cracker? You're always early. Just trying to impress the boss. Yeah, good one. So, what did you go to last night then? I took some girl out, threw a few quid away, you know how it goes. Yeah, apart from the money and the girl. Well, you need to sort that out. Yeah, well, maybe if I could get someone in to start doing this stuff, then you could start cutting me in on the bigger business. Do you know what I like about you, Ozzy? Surprise me. You have got some front. I'll cut you in when you're ready. Get a lackey in if you want. But that back room's a mess, so you need to sort that out first, yeah? Then. Should have told me your mother worked in the canteen. We had a lovely chat. She's keen to see you. And uh, apparently, so is your sister. Mm, no. You can clear that away now. This Destini card stunt was obviously a long term plan, a cover. I can't prove the drugs, but I can prove the cards. You're both excluded. Goodbye. Are you sure you're okay? Why not? But you're a bit manic. I'm fine. I'm just tidying my locker. Okay. But if you need to talk. Matt. It's like Nathan never existed. Oh, what happened then, Margaret? Mrs. King has authorised a press release saying the article was a prank and it's been removed from the website. That's not fair. You guys talk about sex education like it's just another biology lesson. I mean, these kids are dealing with real issues, and Nika thought the article would help. Nika talked to you about this? Not the specifics, but stuff in general, yeah. You two were supposed to oversee what they were doing. We all agreed they'd be given a bit of free reign. You really don't want them to have any say at all, is that it? The school governors, the press, the world and his wife read an article about underage, non-consenting sex on a school website. So you're trying to tell me that it just doesn't happen? It's irresponsible. And I think if we were as focused on school as on our private life, this would never have happened. That is out of order. Sorry. Why does Mr. Devil want to see us? Maybe he's going to close us down. Miss Holmes won't let him. She's on our side. Why do they bother giving us a voice if they don't want to hear what we've got to say? They probably didn't think we were going to mess it up so fast. <sighs> you mean I was going to mess it up so fast? We had a really good chance to do something with this, and you had to turn it into a big Anika thing. Look, Kathy, I'm editor. If this is going to work, you've got to back me up. If you start making all of the decisions for us, then maybe I would. Guys, guys. This is going out to the press and your parents. We're saying the article is a prank and being removed from the site. So, there you are. It's all over. But that's a lie. It's not a prank. It's real. The website is an advertisement for this school, and this article does not give the right impression. It does. I didn't know I was making an advert. We're doing it for us. It's our voice. Your voice is being paid for by the school fund on our computer network. It's business. You're going back on your word. I'm editor. I'm in control. Come in, please, boys. I wonder if you knew, as editor, that the site was being used to sell Destini cards. What? Not in quite as much control as you thought, are you? But, sir... Anika, just drop it. We can still do loads more stuff. Stop complaining. It's good advice. It's Mrs Holmes' decision. Any more controversy, and she'll shut you down. That's home time. Off you go. I thought you were my friends. Uh, Margaret! You may just want to keep a check on discipline. This sort of thing sometimes gets their imaginations going, don't you think? Yes, I will. Thank you, Petra. 
I'm only offering my advice, Margaret. Feel free to take it up with Stephen if you don't think it's appropriate. I didn't say that, Petra. Good. What's happened? Adults making decisions for us. They tell us what we can read, what we can watch on TV, and now they're telling us what we can say. And me, Carl? We did think you'll turn out like that. It did, though, didn't it? Don't want you on the website anymore. That's what? not your decision. What about the rest of the team? What's going on? Mrs. Holmes is going to lie about what's on the website. They're embarrassed by it. And Nika, it's like your phone. Did I give it back or have I still got it? Oh well. Hang on, I'll check. That must be Mum. What do you mean, oh well? Any reason why you're upset in particular? Hello. What are you all doing here? Hello. And why is that phone out? Hello. I never thought you'd betray us. How dare you? Amy, get them to call you back and please turn your phone off. Hang on, I can't hear you. Don't our opinions matter or something? That's no way to speak to a teacher. Is this school out of control? I can't hear anything. You heard Mrs. Holmes. Hand it over. Stop picking on me. What's up with you? Can't you see she's upset? Who do you think you're talking to? You stay right there. Let me go and see Amy. Drop the attitude, Anika. You don't understand. Amy's mum is really, really ill and you two bullies have just made her cry. What? What? She had to have a hysterectomy. And they've just discovered she's got complications. So now I can go home afterwards. It makes it easier. Something to look forward to, isn't it? <laughs> they will be honest with me, won't they? You won't let them lie. You'll know as much as we do. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you must hear it all the time. I never liked to even think about it myself before. Cancer. Just happens to other people. Oh no. Are you all right there? Mum. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm sorry. 